So, hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Welcome, welcome one more Good time. Good evening. Hello. Hello, 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 and welcome one more time for the perfect time of the day, English class. Welcome, Norman and Gabriel, and Raul, Kurs Atrain, welcome. Kurs. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Erwin, Daniel, welcome, everybody. The name. Yes. Hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Welcome. We're here as well. Welcome, sir. All right. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hello, sir. So, I'm my teacher, you. I'm good. I'm doing really good. He is hot. It's very hot, the environment teacher. Yes, sir. I feel bored. Yes. Manrique has a friend today. Yes. <laughs> Super hot. Jesus yes, I have, I have a, a little fun <laughs> too. <laughs> It's our best friend today. Yes, we have crazy weather these days. Crazy. So how are you, everybody? Are you good? Yes, yeah, teacher. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Here yes. in my house, it's raining. It's raining already? Yes. Here, not. In my house, not yet. Uh. <laughs> yeah. These days, environment cool. Yeah, strange weather. Some uh, these days, the rain comes when we're in, in the middle of class, and then the rain comes. Super. Good evening. Interesting. Evening. Evening. Hello. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to have everybody. Oh my God! Yes. All right. Energy, people. Let's go, students. So, we will do a little bit of this thing here. Okay. So, hello, Mr. Escalante and Manuel Fernandez. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Nice to see you. Hello, sir. Nice to see you. Oscar, Miguel, welcome. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Right. Let's do this. Challenge. We're going to choose this speak up challenge. Um, yes. Mandela Hernandez. Choose one of these topics. Okay. Crime. Oh, interesting. <laughs> uh huh. Um. Next. Um, maybe uh, online. Online crime. All right. Have online crimes become a bigger problem than physical crimes. I don't listen well, Did teacher. You hear that? Yeah. Hello. Oh, this is for everybody. 
yeah it wasn't really that okay one more time one more time listen will online crimes become a bigger problem than physical crimes okay physical so that's the question this is for everybody of course for everybody okay will online crimes become bigger a bigger problem than physical crimes um so, when do you know the people uh, made a a fall or a crime is more difficult to identify the identify uh, something that helps to to solve the crime mm -hmm. for example when some people uh, give the credit card information or or um i don't remember what is the name for this kind of crime is a uh, ah, social engineer. Social engineer is when mm -hmm. the people uh, wrote your identity, and mm -hmm. it's complicated. With when do you know who or when or or when the this kind of uh, criminals uh, uh, give the the or information thank you thank you. you're right it's difficult and it has social engineering identity theft uh, the idea you get credit card information and when it's online it's more difficult to gather evidence to get evidence maybe somebody else teacher Gabriel. yes in addition uh, i think the the uh, online crimes, for the example, the attack government, the organization, for the example, anonymous. Yeah, is this is very important defender, the attack. Yeah, mm -hmm. anonymous group, right? During the pandemic, yes. uh, there was a they they are criminals a, or not? Yes, uh, <laughs> Terrorist, terrorist organization. How do you say moda? Mm -hmm. Is that uh, moda? Um, Se puso de moda? Um, I don't trend? remember what a it trend? means. Fashion. It became a trend. No, 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 no. Trend, maybe trend. No, fashion Fashion is okay. like a, a, a clothes. Uh, no, no. Yeah, yes, it became in the trendy. pandemic. In the mm -hmm. pandemic, it trended the cyber attack or the cyber security crime. Yeah. Yes. Now, very prominent, very important, very relevant right now nowadays. Cybersecurity, internet, online. This we are doing something online, right? So it's easy to hack something like a class online or yeah. your grade. The company, the company yeah. discovered other other way to have <clears throat> operations, but discover to that mm -hmm. the vulnerabilities for this kind of uh, situation, maybe cyber attacks or cybersecurity. Mm -hmm. the, the, the company discovered the the necessity to to make effort to to solve or uh, I put on, and or um, protect protect for this kind of of situation. Yes, against the vulnerabilities that companies may have. So so important. So be careful when you have your online information your email whatsapp facebook because the hackers right yes and get to us 
and something very bad can happen. Somebody else? That is very important. Tell me. Um, we have the to to be careful with our service uh, looking or learning about uh, fraud uh, web page or fraud sites we we know we have to be careful um stop sharing information with um everybody also mm -hmm. with our uh with our Contacts, our contact? Contacts, no, but uh, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Um, most of the people is is common. Everybody knows when you wake up, when you uh, take a breakfast, where you are going in the morning. Where in are vacation, you? when you go in on vacations. vacation. Mm -hmm. It's so very, very delicate thing yeah so fishing do you know about fishing of course we yes. Have yes. Fishing. yes 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 what is it's it that's the personal information yes exactly this one, the, when this you... is a, a international mm -hmm. uh, crime and it's very difficult to take the 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 person, uh, this this uh, kind of 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 action, traspassing the border line of the countries, and that is very difficult. To take the the, uh, the person. Yeah, so delicate. It's international, like you say. Oh my God. Yeah. What else do you know about fishing? Somebody else. Fishing. Yes, Peter. Yes, I can. Uh, in in my era, uh, we need to uh, improve uh, the security because the fishing, fishing, this is a, a this depend because uh, there are in uh, in the email there are uh, fishing and there are uh, uh, Link. No, the fishing that is, is, is a is a, a supply uh, uh the the information the supply uh, the personal uh, the over the internet uh, or by email for example um will the will someone else to take the money or for example take the money out in another uh, a count, for example, uh, for the, the supply information. And uh, I can, uh, for example, I can the the, the supply uh, the information of the, the manager, the account manager of, of the bank, for example. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I can, uh, I would like, uh, I, I, I will, I pull, I, I pull, I pull uh, request. Uh, the information in a specific, for example, in Gmail, in uh, a password, or that the the number, the credit card number, for example. Exactly, credit card information. Yes. Mm -hmm. Payment. All these social media uh, make phishing. Very easy, right? Social media. All, all, all this, the, the social, social media, media take the, the personal information uh, for to sell uh, uh, some companies need this information for make uh, money. Correct. Social media makes stealing information, personal information very easy. But sometimes phishing People do it not because of money gains, but only just to do something very bad. Like with your ex, okay? This is a crime. In very a lot of countries, it's a crime when you share personal information about 
somebody you used to know, like an ex-girlfriend or ex-wife, ex-boyfriend or ex-husband. So it's not only about money, but also about reputations. Yeah. Online, for example, politicians, but also us, we, like normal people, we can be the target of phishing and get our information stolen only to get not financial benefit, but also something worse, something bad. And something it's about is it's about toxic people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Correct. Definitely. Beautiful toxic people. <laughs> there is a sentence. Uh, if you don't pay for anything in the internet, you are the merchandise. <laughs> oh my god yes oh my god yeah can you tell it one more time you are the product yes yeah yes correct like there are a lot of free games and also facebook do you pay for facebook do you pay for Instagram? Do you pay for these things? Yes, you do, because you no. give your information. You give your date of birth, your name, your father's name, mother's name. No, be careful. Your you... activity in the internet, what site do you visit? The... What me? <laughs> all all people in this social media. Yes, in the internet, everything you visit, everything is it's recorded. Yeah, it's recorded. Everybody knows where or when you have visited. It's oh my God. You have to be careful. And if you, everybody here in this class understands about internet about phishing please you have to educate people who do not okay so you know good you educate people who don't because it's delicate very delicate all right somebody else yes yep daniel once uh, i i received a message uh, from someone who said that it was apparently a cousin, but it didn't because uh, she wrote to me and told me that she was out of the country and she needed to, to she needed my help so that I can go to the airport and take her packages and I don't, I didn't believe that that text in, in the text that she wrote, supposedly she, she wrote. And after that, I wrote to her, I called her and asked her if she was out of the country. And she told me that she was here uh, at her house, uh, I don't know someone and even she supposedly she she sent me a a photo from her i don't know who who did that wow so you were almost a victim of fishing yes. almost yes. yeah almost i didn't believe and i called her and asked her if she was out of the country. She told me that uh, she, she had never gone out of this country. Yes. So yeah, very... I, I was kind of scared because I I don't know who who tried to to take some something from me. I don't know. Yes. 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 
yeah so one time to my mom to my parents it almost happened as well this is a fishing example here it's too small i think right so a suspicious email that tells you yes yeah, send me your password send me your credit card information so be careful all right suspicious activity thank you daniel for your experience be careful yeah, be careful all right let's just anything else about phishing online cyber security this right. teacher uh, this situation is very common with with the um, bank accounts uh, yeah. i i receive many mails from uh, different banks <laughs> but uh, but they are no uh, they are in bank uh, banks uh, they are uh, some uh, some 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 people uh, who who uh, who try uh, as a bank. Correct. So they pose as a bank. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That then make you believe that it's a bank. They make you believe that it's an institution, a financial institution, and that's correct. Usually, thanks to Oscar, usually it's a bank sending you, hey, you have to renew your password. Please send your credit card number and your PIN number. So that, yes, it happens. So be careful, be careful. And tell your friends, tell your, normally your elder people, yes, your parents, et cetera. Be careful. It happened to my mom almost one time. Very bad. But it didn't happen, thank God, because it was really bad. Anyway, somebody else, thank you for your contribution on this Monday. All right, let's continue, Dean. Let's move on. Right. So, uh, homework. Ten people have done homework. So, well, thank you. Good. All right. <clears throat> So we are changing a little bit our dates, okay? So the forum activity, <clears throat> I already posted it. It's here, all right? There are 10 people who already completed this, 10 posts. Very good, thank you. So half my students have completed it. Uh, do you have a question about this homework? This one. No teacher. No. Nope. Okay. No teacher. Yes, yes, I have I have question. Go. I have question. Go ahead. It's or the... <laughs> yeah. Yes, I, I oh, have never done something like that. In school again. Yes, it's the first time. And what I think I don't know if I can see what how others have done this in, in the platform and not copy but take like a, an example from from them from the ones who already did it so you want to know how to access the homework no i i i have already yeah. I can access it to the platform, but I have I have never done a, something like like this in a forum. All right. Yeah, you just post it. Let's see. Let me see. So anybody else has a question about this? So the forum is this here. So you can see some people have completed in a it. Color, yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, is the the instruction? Yes. It's okay. Here. Thanks. I can give you the link. Let me share the link. Okay. Um, on the Thank WhatsApp you. group, yeah. And another question, we have to uh, reply to to others. Uh, to others, yeah. have others. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I said before that, yes, you have to make a reply, but it's not necessary, okay? You just have to post one time, so you can get your grade. You can okay. make a reply if you want, like Carlos Santa Maria did a reply. I see this. It's okay. But the okay. grade is only one one post. It's enough. All right? Okay, teacher. Thank you. One post teacher. is enough. Yeah. Yes. Teacher, in my case, in my case, the option to write my participation in the forum does not appear. I, I have always ha had this problem with the application Scology. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Anyway, send me the screenshot later. Send me a screenshot of your problem, like how, where you cannot click on the thing. So send me later to see what, what we can okay. do. Okay. Okay, in this moment, I send the screenshot. Thank you. Via right. WhatsApp. Thank you. So we have 12 people already completed the, the homework. That means half of you have. Very good, very nice. Anyway, so that is the first uh, evaluated forum. Really easy, okay, really easy. Because I like this class. I like this money class because we talk a lot. Yeah, what's up? The, the deadline for that uh, homework, it's uh, Wednesday, okay. Correct, Wednesday. So deadline for this is Wednesday, the 19th. Yeah, thank you. Any other question? All good. So oral test, <clears throat> oral test. We do it on Wednesday as well. It's going to be individual and it's going to be a presentation because I want to listen to you. The instructions, what it's going to be about, it's something very fun, it's very interesting, okay? So don't worry too much about grammar because I need you. I need to listen to you. I need you to express yourself. Okay, and, what is the, okay. in the oral test, yeah? in the oral test, what is the topic? Or what are the instructions? Yes, I will give the instruction and the topic on that day, on Wednesday, because if I give it to you now, there's no point. I need you to investigate in the moment what oh, you're gonna okay. do. Yeah, so I can tell you right now for everybody, it's think about a country, okay? An interesting country, that's it. On Wednesday, I give you more information. I Oral want test. to, pre yeah? I want, need to prepare information for Wednesday, uh, no, no, it's a very oh, okay. short presentation is going to be four minutes or three minutes okay. and it's very open. Okay. It's about a country. That's it. Okay. I give you more information on that day. Okay? okay. Because when somebody is presenting, I want everybody else to investigate or okay. research about your topic. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, by the way, sorry, uh, by the way, uh, this this word, yeah, this. Uh, somebody read this, please. Yeah, research yeah. or investigate. Yeah, uh, yeah, be or careful. Because, information. Uh, right, in English, investigate, you don't use it for, like, we use it like research about a topic, investigation or investigate. For imagine, crime, maybe. Imagine it's something like more like the police or more yeah. very formal or like a judge or something. So in, in English, you say research, okay? You have to research about a topic. Investigate, you don't really use it like that. Yes, investigate is related to uh, 
a problem when you need to to solve a problem and you need to yep. to obtain evidence. Correct. Maybe. Very formal, very specific, and very delicate. So, research. We yeah. say research in English or um, in academia. Yeah, like this. When learning, we use research. Anyway, written test number one. We're gonna do it on Friday during the class. Okay. And there's a very small homework uh, due on Sunday, the twenty third. And we will see that later. Anyway, any questions about the oral test or the forum or the written test? You good? Uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, could repeat the oral evaluation. Yes. Oral evaluation okay. is on Wednesday. It's going to be about a country. Think about a country. But the instructions and what is it going to be about, I will give it to you on Wednesday, that day. Okay. Okay. So it's more fun. And anything else? Uh, no? About the, about the time to do the the research. Yes, you will do the research because it's individual, right? So once the others are doing the presentation, you have time to research. Of course, the first people are going to have less time to research, but I will take that into consideration. Don't worry. Again, it's something about a country. It's something fun, but also it has to do with a little bit about work. Yeah, work yeah. conditions, for example. All right, imports, exports, because we're talking about business here. All right. Anyway, um, anything else? So oral, this exam is 20%. Yeah, interesting. Something else? No? <clears throat> the presentation yeah. is to be for the class only. The, the students with the teacher. No, for the class, for the whole class. Okay. Yes. Correct. It's more interesting like that, more exciting. <laughs> <laughs> more interesting for me. <laughs> no, really, it's more exciting, really, because you have to know how to defend yourself with this language. Okay, uh, something else. Also, problem with the with the inter with the Schoology. Send me the screenshot, please. We will see how we can manage that. Mm, somebody else. Um, uh, I have a doubt, teacher. Yes, Amanda, go. Um, I don't remember if you say that, but are you going to? Um, send the instruction of the activity in in a message or in the uh, Schoology. Yes, you mean for the oral test? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will give it to you on that class at 8 p.m. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yes. yes. Thank you. That, that same day I will give you. I will give it to you. All right. So thank you, thank you, good question. If nothing else, then, yeah, good. Right, so let's start with what we stopped on Saturday, I mean on Friday, yeah? So let's do this. Uh, Robin, what's up, hello, are you there? Or Norman or Miguel. You? Okay. So, Amanda, I know you're there. So, please read number one. Or if anybody else has a question about this exercise. Hi, did you? Sorry, sorry. I was mute. Uh, that's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, read, read this. Uh, I think Miguel. Oh. 
sorry. Logistics. Yeah, Mike. Me, uh, okay. Logistics. Um, the coordination of an operation involving many people, facilities, or supplies. Thank you very much. So logistics is about this unit number two in our topic. So this is the main topic, logistics. Thank you. Thank you. Number two, Amanda, please. Hello. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Supplies. The amount of a good or service offered for sale. Nice. Very good. Nice. I like that. Very good. Thank you. And number three. We go with um, somebody else. Who? Me, teacher. Oh. Procurement. 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 Uh, Don't sí. say they're red. So just procurement. 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 Yeah, nice. Better. Procurement. 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 Okay. Procurement. 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 No. Yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's stay a little bit here. Procurement. Yeah, the, the, the R, procurement. like this, Without procurement, e. kind of like this. Procurement. Oh, okay. Procurement, okay. Nice. Beautiful. Procurement. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. I like that. Okay. Procurement. Okay. Procurement is the act the act of obtaining or buying goods and services. That's it. To procure something, the process of the act of obtaining or buying goods or Service. services. Yes. Supplies, procurement. These are very, very specific words in a normal English, I think, in my opinion, of course, it's my opinion. In a normal English teaching situation, these are words that you don't use. This is very specific because we are all in the business of shipping or warehouse or any other business. Okay, so to procure something, it's I think it's advanced vocabulary. So we use it a lot. Number four, please. Somebody else. Teacher, a question. Yes, sir. Uh, for example, uh, procurement uh, in the normal world are using. Uh, a normal people, how do you say? To procure, to buy something, to get to... something. Ah, okay. Yeah, because to get, the thing is, because we're talking about shipping, logistics, business. Mm -hmm. So when you procure something, you don't necessarily pay for that because there's credit, there is el quedan, right? The quedan situation. So you yeah. don't really buy with liquid money, right? There's credit, credito fiscal, right? We said tax credit last time. So when you procure something as a business, you don't necessarily pay immediately right now with your money, dollar, coras, right? Now, so yeah. to procure something is to get it. Okay. And then how you pay it, I don't know. But you have to get it in order to get gains from it, money from it. So that yes, the the biggest companies or has a procurement department. Uh yeah, in English, yeah, you're right. Yeah, there's a department that's that's the name of the of the game, right? Procure yeah. procurement department. Procurement. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Again, procure is not necessarily you buy something, but you get it. In my opinion, the the moment, to get, maybe. obtain. Yeah, yeah. Obtain. The and... procurement maybe is the charge to to negotiate the negotiate a product or obtain a suppliers. Uh, yeah, maybe it's a it's a process to procure something is a yeah. process. Uh huh. You have you have to negotiate. You have to get to an agreement in order to get what you want yeah. back. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Yes, procurement is more complex than purchase or buying. Correct. Correct. Purchase purchase is the, as I understand, understand purchase is the, the result of make a, a contract or, or a deal. 
the purchase is the service or the product mm -hmm. that you obtain as a result that you made a negotiation, an investigation, or a planning. And all this, all this complete is procurement. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Exactly. Like Manuel was saying, and you were saying, yes, correct. correct, the process of a negotiation, talk, an agreement, a time, a schedule, and supply, when the supply is going to come. Yeah, very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Whereas purchase is just, I have this, I buy it. Thank you. That's it. But procurement is more complex when we're talking about a lot of products, distribution centers and warehouses, etc. Very good, very good, very good. Nice, nice, nice. Number four, somebody else. Raul, I see you there, man. Yes, distribution. A process of supplying goods to stores and other businesses that sell to consumers. Thank you, to consumers. Remember? To consumers. Thank you. Perfect. That's it. Number five. Sobre it. Maintenance. Maintenance. The process of keeping something in good condition. That's it. Aeroman, right? That stands for aero maintenance, as far as I understand. I don't know. Aero, aero right? Planes. Maintenance of the planes themselves. Very good. Number yeah. six. Right? Number six. Meet you. Go. Inventory management. The ongoing process of moving parts and products into and out of a company's location. Thank you. Inventory management. Right? Number? Me, number seven. Wait. Inventory management. The stress is in the in inventory management. All right. Continue. Go. Supply supply chain. The network created among different companies producing and distributing distributing product. Exactly. A network created amongst different companies that produce and distribute product. And we're gonna see that today. Actually, okay. Any questions about this? Question, question, questions. No, we're good. All right. Okay, we're gonna talk about this. The business. Have you heard the term third-party logistics? So, what's a party? Three PL. Three PL. Third-party logistics. Three PL. Yes. Nice. Three PL. But, but 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 wait. What's this? Three. Three three months ago, I audited on 3PL in Panama. Oh, interesting. Nice. Yes. But what, what is a party in this yes. context, though? Is this a party? Uh, you went three. to a party on, on Panama. You went to a party in Panama. Yes. Nice. nice. <laughs> no, but the, the term party... The, the party logistic. Doesn't necessarily mean it's a party at the beach or anything. Mm -hmm. So third party logistics. So thank you. You you know what is what is three pm. Somebody else knows what this this what this is. Third party logistics. So what is logistics? Okay. We saw it before, but what is it logistics? Um, maybe uh, when, maybe yeah. when. Uh, a company hires uh, another company to do uh, another things like the distribution. Thank you. Third party. So, yes. So let's talk about the term this only third party. What's, what is a third party? Third party is other company uh, one company pay for services to administrate or manage uh, the supply chain uh, process 
the inventory process and distribution sometimes. Uh, but the, in fact, the third party logistic is in charge to manage the inventory for for another companies. It's, it's cheaper because they, uh, the third party is the, is, they they own your no they have your own uh, warehouse and the company don't need to invest and in they have a, a biggest place to to save to pay, the to rent. merchandise mm -hmm. or supplies. Thank you, Santa Maria. Santa Maria, you ask. Okay, thank you, teacher. Um, as you. As at the beginning, logistic is the co coordination of an um, operation between uh, one operation of for moving products or services. The basics logistic is between point point A and point B. A third party logistics includes a C member. Mm -hmm. A, B, and C. Uh, as Manuel said, for example, part of the business the, of the business is to manufacturing shippers. The company A. The company B is the client. So you you need to move from A to B. A third party logistics example could be when you um, you need or, or you pay a, a drug service company, it's a C company. The core business of the A company is produce or manufacturing zippers. It's not trucking. The core business of the third party is trucking, moving products. So, is or warehouse, or or warehouse. Another example. In this case, the trucking company has the knowledge, has the experience, has the equipment. So, for them, it's more easy to make this job move. So the company A contract the company C, and then you have a third party logistics. And also exist four party four party logistics, fifth party logistics six. that includes party six logistics. party logistics <laughs> that includes other services, labeling, uh, and packaging, packaging, e-commerce, mm -hmm. and ha and has assistant AWAs. Teacher. From Amazon, yeah. Tell me who uh, the the this term uh, I I believe is that when you know make the business directly, uh, you use a third person. Uh, for example, uh, you need a, a some product. Uh, there is not in the country like mm, plastic pallet. And you can ask me uh, if I can uh, supply th this product and I can say to you, yes, I can. And I make the investigation with the product in the Chinese and I, I make the, the uh, investigate the price and the, the cost for bring to the con this country, the this product, and I offer to you uh, uh, a different price uh, with my my profile. That is the the, the activity of uh, this person. Correct. The third party, you have to negotiate. You have to research to see if okay, should I pay money to somebody else to manage my product? And after the research, you say yes or maybe not. Maybe sometimes it's not okay to hire a third party. 
maybe it's okay to do it yourself. When you do that in English, uh, we another term here, we call it in-house, yeah? In-house. Yeah. So in-house is when you do yourself the transportation, the warehouse. Robin, yeah. Uh, where I work, there I call it outsourcing, which is sure. a, another company that does part of the process indirectly. For example, Lopez and Lopez cranes that are hired to raise and lower the fly surface of airplanes. Thank you. So you outsource this part of the business to somebody else. Yeah, outsourcing. yeah. Outsourcing, the term outsourcing is related to people, maybe. When you, you, when you uh, mention third party is another company, sometimes a commercial or, or strategic partner, maybe. Oh, it's the when same. you say outsourcing, it's, 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 a, it's a other third party, but more yeah. related to people. Not mm -hmm. direct employees. No, I it's think it's similar. People. It's with it's, people. It's people and businesses. It's people and machines, etc. Outsource means what do you think? Outsource is when you give part of the operation to another company. The most common is the cleaning, the cleaning of the of the uh, yeah, cleaning cleaning of service. Cleaning of the, of the facilities. Security. The cleaning of the facilities. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. Exactly. It's cleaning. Yeah, security is super common. But it's now cleaning. the accounting, the security. Security is, yeah. is, is an outsourced service. Also, yes. some companies outsource the logistics. Yeah. The exactly. Whole, the whole logistics. Exactly. Correct. Correct. Thank you. Good examples. Uh, cleaning and security. It's something that is outsourced very commonly, super commonly, because you can do you can do the security in house. You just have to get your machete, Mr. Santa Maria, right? You get it, so you can defend. But no, sometimes it's easier, cheaper, faster. Just outsource. No, let's outsource to I don't know, Cosase, right, or whatever else. Cosase is big. That's why I mentioned. It. Anyway. A former soldier, a former guerrillero. Correct. <laughs> former combatants, we call it. More, with more experience. Exactly. You outsource the knowledge to somebody who knows more than you. Yes. And if you pay and it's cheap, hey, perfect. You pay for the outsource. Yeah. And and you can focus in, in your core business. Nice. Very good. Extremely perfect. Exactly. That's Third-party logistics, yeah. The point is that you, the cost of opportunity is you pay something, but you have you focus. That's I like that a lot. Thank you. Focus on your, uh, oh my god, your core <laughs> business, right? So you focus on whatever you are doing. Whatever you're doing, bottles, yeah, you are doing petroleum, diesel, whatever. You focus on that and you don't care about logistics, you just pay somebody else and that's it. Thank you. That is the main point of this. Why do companies do this? Yeah, we said uh, another Another thing uh, in this yes, uh, uh, is, uh, for example, uh, uh, the the uh, governmental department uh, have problem with the uh, country laws for make business uh, uh, directly. Uh, this is the form to to get uh, products or service. Uh, 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 some some 
uh, office can do directly the 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 buy uh, in the last example i told you uh, the uh, that is a, a real, real example in in my my in one of my uh, last job uh, for for the time for the bring the probes uh, or office uh, no can buy for this product directly uh, when you uh, make the order for the products uh, this is the 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 way uh, a special way for use the the third party logistic thank you exactly that's how you use it. So this is, uh, you mentioned something. Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna go. Okay. Uh, sometimes some companies decide to use a 3PL because the, they decide to uh, uh, concentrate the effort in the main of your own activities and not in, invest time in effort and money in in manage a warehouse and the and the in logistic and and distribution when the core business is another thing and some manage the size uh, uh, pay for this kind of or service and don't and don't this uh, and don't focus uh, and don't focus on that and and bet uh, instead that uh, uh, focuses in in to core business in your in their core business correct so everybody can thank you thank you so much you can imagine the manager of a company or the manager, the directors, the junta directiva, right? Saying, discussing board about director. the board of okay. directors. Thank you very much. Discussing something about mm, the business, right? Direct board. And then they say, hey, nombre, uh, let's outsource it. Relax. Let's outsource it. We pay for something and we forget about it. Yeah. So that's how you do it. Let's outsource it. It's a verb. To outsource something, it's a verb. All right. Does your company use this? Yes, go. Um, go there. I, I think the, the why the company use DPL is because in the company is mm, Need the is necessary delegate the responsibility to uh, the expert company in logistics mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to delegate. It's necessary to delegate, right? To delegate. Uh huh. Yeah, correct. Sometimes you make the expert. decision that is necessary mm -hmm. to delegate because they are they have the expertise. Yeah. For the sample, Amazon use DHL. Mm, nice, thank you. Very good example. I didn't know that. Good. Outsources, logis. Not everything, of course, I think, but some. To DHL. Yeah. Nice. If Amazon can outsource logistics to DHL, it means because it's makes more money for them right thank you thank you thank you thank you very good something else somebody else we're good all right does your company use for party logistics we know amazon uses it what about yours your example somebody else do you yes my company use a third party logistic um Panama, for example. In another in an in another countries is 
in, in is um uh, inside no um is in, in another country is uh in house in house but in Panama is in Panama I use a third party logistics. All right. Thank you. Somebody else uses third party logistics? Maybe yes. every company uses we use it the most, logistics. Most yeah. of the companies. We use it with the um with the customs agent. We don't have a um uh, our own customs firm. So we have to to out to out or work with a, a custom agent, yes. No, remember you have two out source remember outsource so, is outsource. a verb so uh -huh. we have to outsource this to another agent like you said yeah uh, the customs agent thank I, you i have a question uh, about the in-house as i know the in-house operation is is when you for example uh a beverage company a company that that, yeah. that produce uh, sodas water juice they they produce the drinks but the bottles usually are manufactured are manufactured by another company so in order to reduce uh, time uh, cost the bottle company send a little machine to the beverage company. So the operation of making bottles is made inside the beverage company. Mm -hmm. That is an in-house operation. Mm -hmm. Another example can be um, the packaging and, and labeling. Yeah. And labeling. The company produce mm -hmm. the, the drink also produce mm -hmm. the bottles they they made the the drinks the boxes but at the end the pallets are packaged by another company and they made the labeling process too mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. they, they 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 put the the rolling or the that's a stretch film. The the enrolling machines. I don't know what what is the name. And then they put the labels. So they have they have a in house operation of packaging and labeling. Correct. Somebody else. What is a label? Labeling. Label. Label. Label is the. Uh... Is the is the brand in the bottle? Is the uh, the date when the the expiration date? Yes, this is the brand. The it's like the identify a logo. Mm -hmm. The logo uh, of, right. of a, from a, yes. of a company. The content, yeah, two hundred milliliters, whatever, yeah. Expiration date, exactly. Also, regulations. Nutritional like, information. Correct, exactly. So, regulations, things. If it's yes. food, it has to have how many calories, uh, sugar. Correct. Labeling, labeling process. Thank you. Very good. Labeling. Yeah. yeah. In our but, country, yeah. in the construction industry, uh, dear party logistics, is popular called coyotes. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You coyotear. It's a right. uh, evil necessary. In in fact, the in in supply chain uh, topics, the third party logistic is more related to warehousing and distribution. Correct. No, no, no. No logistic or custom or, 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 or 
o custom service, no, it's more related to the supply chain, uh, the supply chain manage. Thank you. Transport, it's warehousing, and, and distribution, maybe. It's, it's, the, it's the most common the, the service for the 3PL. Correct. And security <laughs> and cleaning. So correct, transport and storage. That's what you call storage. You have to outsource. Yeah, you have to outsource storage if you don't want to pay for rent, to pay for a big warehouse for your own. No, you just have to outsource to some company for your storage. Yeah, exactly. Storage, storage, storage. storage. I had a, a a good example, teacher. Yes, sir. In, in... In the port operation, the unique relationship between the boat and the port facility is between a um, maritime agent. The this is a third part. Maritime. Yeah. Not, but it's obligation to have a, a maritime agent because uh, you, you might enter the, the, the boat probably one time uh, comes in our country, you probably never come back. Then the iron, the maritime iron, they have uh, they have a insurance. Then when probably uh, some services is not paying, the iron mar the the maritime iron pay for all services that the poor facilities uh, give to the to the both. Then the poor never have relationship between captain or the master of the boat. Is oh. throughout the the the, the maritime maritime, maritime agent and is obligation uh, for have a maritime agent. Ah, the port, uh, the the port facilities, este, have several outsourcing operation. For example, this cherish or this cherish container or 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 cherish a granel or a, a freight. In bulk. Uh, in bulk, in bulk, yes, in yeah. bulk. Uh, they they operation is. Is doing between a, a third parts or outsourcing mm -hmm. for other company. Mm -hmm. uh, the the transportation, the 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 the, the charge between the port or, or outside the port is outsourcing. The port uh, have uh, have not a, a, a equipment for the transport. Uh, don't have a, uh, probably in the moment they have a a, a a a very little equipment for the operation. Mm -hmm. Interesting. This is yes. interesting. The yes. port authority never has an interaction with the captain. Why? Because it's too difficult, too much time. No, but let's outsource it, right? Yes. That's what they thought. Hey, no, but let's outsource it. Let's not do that. It's too difficult, time-consuming, training, facilities, yes. salaries. No, let's outsource it. It's a service, okay? Let's yes. just outsource it. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good example. All the Nobody payment, else? all the payment that the services or the or the bot is is pay is is pay you pay paid is paid. Is paid. Is paid by the maritime agent, never with the captain, never with the master of the boat. Oh, interesting. Wow. Very interesting. Because the captain of the boat also has many things to do. It's a very interesting, important thing to do for the vessel. I don't know, the floating. So no, let's just outsource it to an agent. So the agent has to worry about everything else. Yes. yes. Nice. Very nice. I didn't know that. I'm very interested in the shipping industry. That's really, really cool. It's super interesting. Anyway, uh, somebody else? 
We continue. All right. Let's watch a video. 3PL, third party logistics. Okay. The word, uh, this word, we're going to repeat it, okay? Because this is vocabulary, okay? So be careful. It's not logistics, okay? It's not that. It's logistics, logistics, logistics. Repeat, logistics. 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 I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Logistic. No, it's different. It's logistics. Look. Logistics. Look at this. Look at this. Logistics. This is, no, it's not Lou either. It's la logistics. Yeah. Okay, wait, wait. Let, let, let's let's hear it. Logistics. Did you hear that? Logistics. Logistics. No, she doesn't say logistics. Look, listen. Logistics. 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 Okay. Logistics. Logistics. <laughs> right. Look at this exercise. This is remember, it's uh, another language is like an exercise. Okay. So pronunciation, don't do logistics. all it, it's logistics. Your mouth like this. Logistics. 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 Nice. Better. Logistics. 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 Nice. Sounds better now. Sounds better now. Very good. Very good. Logistics. Let's go. Continue. Um. Right. Third party logistics. A little bit of um. Video. Uh. Wait a second. Yes. Okay, video. Listen, pay attention. Don't work. I'm Jesse Janae, and this is Shipping Things. And today we're talking about three PLs. Are they right for your business? And how do you Teacher, how much it will cost you? I don't uh, watch the video. Yes. Really? We don't watch the no. video. Oh, oh yes. Only sound. Right, sorry. Yeah, something was happening. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There we go. Yes, right now. Thank you, thank you, Manu. I'm Jesse Janae, and this is Shipping Things. And today we're talking about 3PLs. Are they right for your business? And how do you figure out how much it will cost you? PL stands for third party logistics. It's basically a layer in your supply chain helping you with the logistics piece. And I know that sounds a little complicated, but it's actually really simple. Think of it like this. Your business makes a product and then delivers it straight to the customer. That would essentially be a 1PL. Then if you start involving shippers like UPS or FedEx, now you've got someone in between, that's a 2PL. And then let's say you supply a warehouse with your product, which then ships it onto the customer on your behalf. That, my friend, is a 3PL. A 3PL is a physical warehouse that helps you with things like freight, warehousing, distribution. And they can even be industry specific, like cold storage for food businesses. But if you're an e-com, you're going to want to look for one that specializes in inventory management, fulfillment, and returns. If you're asking yourself whether you're big enough to start working with a 3PL, that actually isn't the best question. Figuring out whether a 3PL is the right fit for your business all comes down to the math. So let's jump into how 3PLs charge. 3PL usually has four base fees. It starts with storage. They're gonna charge you for how much space your stuff takes up in their facility. Then you've got picking. Picking is what you pay for having a human being walk around their facility, grab your stuff, and put it in a box. Then you've got packaging. Any packaging you haven't already prepaid for or sent to them, they're going to charge you for. And finally, postage. Postage is what you pay for actually shipping your product to your customer. I just want to remind you that 3PLs have a really hard job to do too. It's almost like fractional ownership of a warehouse. Instead of you having to own a big facility and pallet racking and have employees doing shipping every day, they do that on your behalf. They also have incredible software systems a lot of times that help your business run like a well-oiled machine.
So how do you know if you're picking the right 3PL for your business? Well, here's a few criteria. Location. It's really important that the location of the warehouses is nearby the manufacturing or geographically optimized for where you're shipping. Then price. We already talked about all the different fees, but make sure to really do the math, open a spreadsheet, plan it out. Packaging. A lot of 3PLs will not actually work with custom packaging, so make sure you plan out exactly how you want your product to look before selecting a partner. And finally, scalability. It's really important to know exactly how many facilities your 3PL has and whether they fit in with your growth plans. Think about where your business is going to be in a year. Are they a good fit for you then? Choosing a 3PL is sort of like choosing a mate. They're going to have all your inventory and you're going to be working with them constantly to make sure your customers are happy. So make the decision wisely. You do not, you do not want a nasty breakup. Okay. <laughs> I was psycho. Oh. I did not expect that ending. Right. Any comment about that? No. Postage. She said something interesting that we didn't mention exactly like this the things you have to look for when you decide to go with a third party uh, logistics location price fact interesting location we, we didn't mention lo location uh, like... mentioned mention, she mentioned scale it what maybe it? because uh -huh, scale maybe scaling maybe for economy of scala maybe Scaling, correct. At the end, she said, scaling means when you want to be bigger. What are you going to do here in five in five years? Are you going to be uh, bigger? How you have more much? benefit to mm -hmm. to do something, a uh, uh, grow scaling. Grow, to become bigger, to grow, scaling. Yeah, mm -hmm. Very good, very good, very good. Nice, 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 nice. Location, so probably... Your company, Manel, I don't know what you do, but if you choose Panama, it's because they have the shipping containers and it's a shipping route. No, it's only one. for the operation in Panama. Um, all right, mm -hmm. all right, right. No, but just, I just imagine because Panama is uh, the canal, of course. Yeah. So important to have, I guess, logistics operations over there. Good to location. Anyway, something else? Somebody else? All right, third, I mean, group work, yeah, pair work. Um, I'm just going to read this. Uh, Hilario, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Thank you. Read the instruction, please. Okay, pair work. Mm, number the steps to absorb and feel part party logistic provider thank you yeah very simple four steps only we're going to do trying to do pairs okay because sometimes not uh, we don't all connect right because we have work and everything but this time i really want to do either pair or three people and no more and this is going to be really fast okay let's go uh, any questions? Develop, evaluate, review. So you just have to put number one, number two, number three, number four. What is first? What is second? Etc. So one moment.
Let me share the screen. Uh, evaluate, interview, and and sell it. I think. I think. Number two. Mm -hmm. Evaluate, interview, and sell it. Mm -hmm. uh, but for me, I think that the this the two step is the review the checklist of the the third uh,
Dele click en el. English. You need to. To press. Chair. No. no in Zoom, in not. Zoom, in Zoom, in Zoom, no WhatsApp, in Zoom. Ma. You need to press share. Es que no puedo agrandar. And then este stop sharing. No lo puedo. Este, ma. No lo puedo agrandar. Ah. No lo puedo agrandar. Mm, quiero ver. You're done. Nice. Yes, teacher. Hi, teacher. Doing good? Doing good. We already sent good. to the email, to the WhatsApp. Great, yeah. great, great. Excellent. We have finished. Excellent. Perfect. See you. 15 years old, 15 years working. Wow. Over there. All the life. Years. The whole life. <laughs> yes, I, I almost 16. Welcome back. Right. What was the answer? What is number one? Uh, Number one is do an internal assessment of your current and future needs. Nice, 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 nice. What is this? What? Assessment? Evaluation, maybe. It's a similar evaluation. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Evaluation. Assessment is more technical, maybe. <laughs> Exactly. As I was going to say that. Is it like a technical term? Because we're looking at business, logistics, supply chain, assessment. Risk. 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 Too. Evaluation yes, of risk. risk. Nice. Yes. Uh, risk yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In my opinion, and also your opinion, I think, also assessment means evaluate the risks, right? The pros, yes. The yes. advantages and the what? Disadvantage and advantage. Yeah, but we have one vocabulary. Advantages and... Disadvantage. Drawbacks. Of course. Drawbacks. Drawbacks. Nice. Very good. What was that? Oh, I don't remember. This is great. This is worse. What was that? Draw? Draw. Drawbacks. Drawbacks. Very good. Advantages and drawbacks. So an assessment includes... Both things, good things, bad things. Good. In your jobs, because I know a lot of you work and you use, you have to use English, use this word, use drawback. It's drawback. cool. You will impress your boss, okay? I guarantee that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, I guarantee that. Manrique guarantee. All right. Number two, you assess something, something good, something bad. Number two. Develop a detailed plan for the 3PL selection process. 
I don't know. Somebody else? New. Is that correct? I agree with Manuel. Yes, teacher. Yes, I agree. Yes, yes develop a yes. uh, plan. Yes. A detailed yes, plan. Teacher. Agree. Thank you. Develop, uh, read this, who, uh, Efrain, or, I don't know how to see here, Edgar, this one. Uh, I want yes, the, the second step is develop a detailed plan for the third party logistics installation process. Thank you. Detailed plan. Thank you. You made the pronunciation perfectly. Develop a detailed plan. That's what I was looking for. Detailed plan. Very good. Yeah. Good. Number three. Review the checklist of TPL capabilities. Oh, what is that? What's a capability? Capability? Capability. capability. What is that? Abilities. Capability. No, capability is like a, <laughs> the capacity, the, the, the capacity to manage something. Mm. High volumes, uh, a lot of transactions. Uh, the capabilities is capabilities. Like Competences, skills. Capabilities. No, no, no. I don't know what I was going that. to put. I was going to place uh, Google in order to for us to understand how to pronounce it. Capabilities, okay? Capabilities, capabilities, okay. capabilities. Right. Capabilities. Let's get our help from our Google friends. Uh, no. Wait. The, is the power or ability to do something? The power. Okay, no, but we're talking about the pronunciation. K. Look at the oh. pronunciation. K. Capabilities. Capabilities. Uh, capabilities. One more time. Listen, listen. Capabilities. 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 Okay, remember that this is this is uh, this is American English pronunciation. Pa pa. Huh. Capability. Huh. Capability. 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 Right? Capabilities. No capabilities. Capabilities. Right? Capabilities. Correct. Okay, so what is the after we're reviewing the capabilities, what is number four? Evaluate, interview, and select. Correct. Evaluate, review, and select. That's right. Thank you. Any questions about this? Thing? We good? All right. Because we have another one. Okay. This one we're going to match. Uh, all right. Mr. Escalante, please read the instruction. Okay. Match the terms relate, relate to logistic to the meaning of the right. Thank you. Match the terms related. Related. Okay. Match Perfect. the term related to logistic. Excellent. Beautiful. Related. Related or related. 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 Match the term related to logistic to the meaning of the right. Nice. Perfect. 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 Excellent. Another one. This is another one, and we're going to do groups again, all right? It's going to be quicker, but we need to do attendance afterwards. All right? Let's see. Um, okay.
Peregrine students. I, I believe the number four is the, the first a function that allow company which really really to remove or minimize the risk associated with vehicle yes. investment. Associated, sí. Cargo insurance. Yes. Number two. Well, okay. Uh, we do the easy. Uh, mm -hmm. You start. Yes, I because think because I don't know where can be the number two provide fleet management. I think is is the best option. Fleet. I don't know fleet, but fleet fleet is a yeah. is a number of car that you have for for transfer the, the products or the service that you provide. Okay. Ah, yes. Fleet management is. Do you agree if that associate with the. With the vehicle investment. No, mami, ya me Ah, yes. Okay. It's number two. Um, number three. The freight claim is a, a small package service. It's a, yeah, nah, for example, is that the 15 is a developers or package and the shipment for way less than 115 pounds. Pounds. It is, pounds. It is pounds. Uh, number number five, a small package service. Yeah. Envelopes. Okay. How do you say uh, libras? Pounds. Lounge. Pound. Pound. With a P uh, as in pound. Papa. Pound. Pound. Yeah. Pound. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. pound. Yeah. Pound. Pound. Uh, yep. Number. Number. Uh, four. Four. Yeah. It's the provides protection against all risks of physical loss or damage to.
Soy un, un fleet privado. Mm -hmm. It's a private fleet in management because it removes the risk to associate it with vehicle investment. Yes, that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Yo. Okay. Any vocabulary? Welcome, welcome. So what is this? How do you pronounce this in English? Pounds. Pounds. What? Pounds. 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 Yes. Pounds. Yeah, it sounds like this. Pounds. 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 Yeah. Pounds. So let me give you a little tip pronunciation. Okay. Right now. So, this. English is a phonetic language. Sound. So, when you say, it's not, listen, it's not pounds. No, it's pounds. You do a p, 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 pounds, 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 pounds. pounds. Good, 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 good. Por eso me cuesta tanto escribir en inglés cuando hey, me English. han dictado. English, niño. <laughs> All right. Pounds. When some people dict me, I have, a, uh, I have a, a problem because they pronounce different. I know. It's the sound. The thing is, you have to yeah. be used, you have to get used to English. You will not hear the letters that you read. Okay, in English, you do not hear the letters that you can read. You will never do that. Okay, so you have to understand that. So in this case, um, this pronunciation, right? Pound, and also uh, like the name, right? Uh, Paul, right? Paul, again, Paul, Paul. So you you do the p p sound. It's very very small. Pound. Anyway, let's go, let's continue. Right. So, as usual in our class, let's do attendance. And we're gonna solve this tomorrow, like we always do. Attendance, attendance, all right. Um, moment. Okay, Amanda and Patricia. Hello, I'm here. Thank you. Norman, Josemar. Yes, teacher, I'm here. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Viva Aguila. Next, Roberto Escalante. <laughs> Here I am, teacher. <laughs> Thank you. Rosaura. Bien. Que viva bien lejos. Miguel. Hi, teacher. Excellent. Miguel, saw you there. Daniel Hernandez. Here I am, teacher. Daniel or Manuel? Thank you, sir. Daniel. Now, oh, okay. Manuel okay. Hernandez. Da. Okay. There you go. Mr. Herrera. 
I am teacher. I am here, teacher. Gabriel Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Professor Oscar Lopez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Angel Margelli. He told me something. Fatima. I don't see here. Edgar. Here, here, sorry. Here. 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 Thank you. Javier. 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 Yes. Francisco Robin Quintanilla. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Hilario and Raul. I'm here, teacher. Raul Edgardo. I'm here. Thank you. By the way, thank you for not saying present. That's in English, you don't say that. So thank you for not saying I'm here. Hey, hello. Good evening. Good. No present. That is, don't say that. Very good. Next, Manuel de Jesus. He is ex you, ah, thank you. Thank you. you. You told me before, but thank you. Raúl, uh, sorry, Raúl, I already told you. Efraín, Edwin. I'm here. Edwin, I haven't heard from you today, Edwin. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Mr. Santa Maria. Here, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So next time, Edwin, I need you to participate a bit more. Right. Okay. <laughs> I'm Manuel sorry. Hernández, I'm I am teacher. here. I'm a strict teacher. <laughs> what? Yeah, I already asked what? for you. <laughs> right anyway so be, we're not going to solve it we're going to do that tomorrow do you have any questions because I have some pronunciation here for some words any questions about the reading about the exercises because I heard because I went to the rooms breakout rooms Mm, so pronunciation. This one, pronounce this, please. Hilario. This yes, one. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. This. Allow. Mm. Nice. Very good. One more time. Allow. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Robin. Are you there? Allow. Perfect. Allow. Yes. Perfect pronunciation. Very good to allow something to happen. Good, good, good. Next one, this. Merchandise. 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 Yeah, excellent. No need to do any exercise of pronunciation. You're pronouncing it. Very good. Everybody, everybody. very good, very good, very good. Mm -hmm. And what about this? And what's the meaning? Fleet. 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 What's the meaning? He is the payment for the transportation. Oh, be careful. False friends. Uh, okay. No, sorry. You're talking about fright. Fright is... Uh, okay, let me make a little pause. Fleet, fleet is a quantity of transportation. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Let's go back to fleet. In Spanish, yes, it's called flete. But in English, fleet means something totally different. It's completely different. Be careful. Fleet a is not flete. No, it's a... It's a, a... a set the car, a set the motor, a set the airplane. Anyway, it's a fleet. You said trans... Transport, what else? Everybody it's, said something? It's transportation. Yeah, basically. So what else? What is fleet? The number of cars or trucks that you have to make the transportation. The number of. Okay. Somebody else? Before we finish? Uh, the fleet is uh, uh, when we talk about transport, it's a uh, quantity for truck. Uh, auto, 
Yes, it's a, it's a set. I think that is a fleet. Mm. Yes, because fleet, because I, me, because fleet, I know it's a word that is new, but in my opinion is not, it's not easy to, uh, um, to define it. So we're going to use Mr. Google. So it's here, this. Um, okay, for last, um, who is here? Edwin, are you there? Choto. Yes, I am. Thank you, sir. Read this, please. The definition of fleet. Fleet, a number of vehicles or aircraft operating together or under the same ownership. Yeah. Thank you. Do you agree? Is this fleet, transport, vessels, quantity, yes, number? Yes. The difference is the fleet in freight. Freight is the amount where you pay. The fleet is the number of vehicles. Mm -hmm that transport a merchandise and how many boots, uh, how many cars or vehicles have into aircraft, correct. Aircraft or boats, vessels, etc. And freight, freight in Spanish, how do we say this? Remember Maybe. that in custom, need to say what is the number of the cars, what is the number of, of bulls, bulls uh, uh, or package that have each car or each mm -hmm. transport. Packages, right. Uh -huh, packages, packages have the vehicle. Anyway, right in Spanish is what we call, I think, I don't know if you correct me, flete, right? Yes, it is. So okay. I'm, I, I'm writing this in Spanish because this is a very important word in our business and what, what we're doing here. Okay, logistics. Normally, mm -hmm. I don't I don't do Spanish. Okay. And fleet in Spanish it could be flota or flotilla. Correct. Exactly. So the number of transportation that you have, drones, vessels, or anything else. Right. Any question? before we finish. We are good so far. No questions. Thank you, gentlemen and lady. So if not, then this is it. We finish for tonight and we see you tomorrow. Thank you. Good okay. night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Good see you night. tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. You. Nice to see you. Good night. Good night. Good night. My students. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you. Peace.